So on this video, I'll be giving you guys five tips that have really helped me throughout my years drawing with pen, and some of them still help me to this day. And watch to the end of this video because I'll be telling you guys how to use this white gel pen, which most of you struggle with. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified anytime I upload new videos. So the first thing I didn't do, which I advise you guys to do first, is to start small. Start small with any kind of thing you can draw, just a simple sketch, maybe a eyes, like how I do on my tutorials. I first teach you guys how to draw eyes, lips, nose, and ears, you know, those kind of simple stuff. When you master those kind of basic, simple objects, then you can go further to draw more complex objects, like either things like maybe an elephant, Since you're just starting out, you can just start with an insect. That would be cool. So let me draw an insect as an example of what I mean by just being simple. You can draw something like a simple insect. Just give it all you got. Make it so realistic as much as you can. Just be proud of one little insect you made. If you can make that insect maybe like four times or five times, then you get better. Maybe with the fifth one or the fourth. So from there you can now move to a complex object. Maybe something that is still life. Maybe a cup and a mug or something like that. So you can train yourself, get better with just simple, simple objects. So from there you can move to more complex things. Those kind of things you inspired by those big, big artists. So yeah, just something like this is okay. So the second thing is for you to make mistakes. Yeah, I know this sounds like as if I'm trying to throw you off, but that is how I started. When I started, I tried as much as I can not to make mistakes, but anytime I try to not make any mistakes, I end up making mistakes. So if you can train yourself to perfect your mistake, try to make your mistake good as the real thing you are trying to get. That way you get real with your mistake. Getting used to my mistakes opened my mind to solutions that will help me correct my errors. And one of those solutions is using grids. When I found out about grid line, that was when my art started looking a little bit professional. Artists use this all the time. I use it all the time. Some artists are, you know, ashamed of showing it on their progress shots, but they use it. I'm starting a series where I'll teach you guys how to draw with pen, like the real deal on how to draw with pen from A to Z. Like everything you need to know from how to make grids and the shading technique and how to know the shadow direction the episode will be starting very soon so subscribe so you don't miss it and the fourth one is don't rush why rush when you know when you finish it won't be as good as you thought it would I collected some of your work to show you what a rushed work looked like. Looking at these drawings, you will know the person just wanted to finish it. For me, I believe in finishing with excellence. And it all comes down to the point, to the first point where I said, you just need to start with something small. Why drawing somebody like uh, Cristiano Ronaldo when you know you can't even draw maybe an insert, for example? So let's start small and then you graduate to something more higher. Then lastly, draw with passion. If you have that simple object or that simple picture you want to draw, you first have to understand that you will make mistake drawing that picture. So draw it maybe two times with different images and then understand where you make mistakes and then try to use grid either to perfect yourself or just to feel confident with, your, with the technique you are trying to use. And then don't rush, just take your time to make it perfect so that you'll be proud of it when you finish. And then you have to again like that picture you are drawing you have to feel something for that picture you are drawing so that you'll be able to come up with a good result when i started making pen drawing i didn't start because i want to you know make money with it or try to impress my friends with it i just started because i have kind of deep passion for it. I started using any picture I can find either on a size book cover and things like that to just make myself grow. So I didn't have friends at that time. I was just starting up. Every like I get on Facebook or on other social media, I will be very happy for it and you know I keep growing. So I said with I always like drawing 
Pepsi can and Coca Cola can just that was my best picture to use at that time. So maybe I'll draw one of them again because I didn't draw anyone that I really like at that time. So maybe I'll draw one again. So just leave a comment in the comment section if whether I should draw maybe a Pepsi can again. Just let me know in the comment section. So this is a bonus tip for you guys for those of you struggling to use this yj pen to draw the trick there is you don't use the pen unless the drawing has stayed for maybe three or four days or the fifth day after drawing then you can now apply this yj pen that is just a trick there you wait for it for like three days after you finish your drawing all right see you guys next saturday